Well, the great Brian Newman is headed back to Nomad Las Vegas. The trumpeter and singer returns for six performances this summer of his late night show, Brian Newman After Dark. Brian, thanks for coming back on the show, man. And I've seen the show. Alyssa wants to see the show, but I'm just going to say it's amazing. You never know who's going to pop up. It was one of the best performances, shows, memories of my life. When I was there, Lady Gaga came on stage, Terrence Blanchard. And what I oh, love. Man. What I love about you, Brian, is your energy. It just looks like you're having so much fun personally up there. So, you know, we know the fans are loving, but how have you enjoyed this late night show? Ah, uh, it's like the best thing that ever happened to me. I, I, I swear to God, I just love, I love Las Vegas, and this show is a culmination of all the years we spent in New York. You know, uh, you know, perfecting it and, and making making it our own. Man, I, I'm I'm so happy to be back. I cannot wait. Okay, so can you share or tease us with any new surprises, maybe new guests or returning guests for the show? Can you give us any of that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, the, the most, first and foremost, my wonderful wife Angie Pontani is going to be there the first weekend, the 13th, 14th, and 15th. Uh, but we're going to have a lot of new guests, too. Uh, Morgan James is coming out uh, that first weekend as well. Uh, Tim Stewart, the guitar player for many bands, but no, most notably in, in Lady Gaga's band. He's going to come and play with us those first three nights. And we're just going to have a ball, man. I'm, I'm going to keep some of it secret, but uh, you, you never know what's going to happen. You that's know? what I love about it. Okay, let's go, <laughs> let's go back to the beginning with you, because you started playing at the age of nine, which is incredible. By 12, you tell your mom you want to be a New York City jazz musician. And even though you went to school, for jazz at Cincinnati College Conservatory. You decided to give up the formal training and actually go to New York City. So what made you look within yourself and say, you know what, I want to give up the traditional stuff and this formal training. What made you want to go hustle in New York City? I mean, you knew it at the age of 12. Yeah, I mean, I just always knew that, you know, like Frank said, you make it here, you make it anywhere. It sounds, you know, it's, it's over said a lot, but it, it's so true. You know what I mean? It's like I knew that I couldn't do what I wanted to do if I wasn't in this in this city. And and that's led me back to Vegas and all that all that beautiful stuff. I'm, I'm just I'm just happy to be, uh, you know, I'm happy to be doing what I'm doing and doing what I love. And, and all those hard work, all that all those years of hard work are, are paying okay. off. So a couple yeah. a couple more things here. So tell us, because when you're in New York City, you're grinding as a bartender and you actually yes. meet Lady Gaga. Talk about that and also how you share this same tattoo in common. That's a sketch of Miles's trumpet, but it's a oh, sketch yeah, yeah, done there, by Tony cool. Bennett. Let's, let's see yeah, that. It's, it's, right, it's right there. Yeah, well, well we were recording. Um, I, I'm, first of all, I met, I met Gaga downtown at this bar called St. Jerome's. And she was a go-go dancer and she worked with the DJ, uh, Lady Starlight. And I was a bartender there and hung out there. And we just we just hit it off, but we were friends for a long time. And then she started doing, I was always doing music. She was always doing music. And, you know, it just, it, it uh, culminated in this beautiful thing. And, and then uh, when we were recording Cheek to Cheek with Tony Bennett um, in 2013 or 2014, Tony was drawing this trumpet on the piano. And then after the gig, me and her went and got it tattooed from my friend Becca Roach down on 7th Street See, it's in so New York. It's so amazing. You're so great. You're a great singer. You're a great uh, oh, trumpet player. You, uh, I love Electric Lounge. Your, uh, your cover of I'm on Fire is better than Springsteen's. I'm going to say that uh, right I now on live TV. <laughs> but the la oh, last thing I got to ask you, because I'm a big jazz guy, yeah. uh, you know, Coltrane's be best saxophonist of all time. Who is the best trumpet player of all time? Is it Chet? Is it Miles? Is it Louis? Is it Wynton Marsalis? Who is it you? Who's the best I trumpet player of all time? It's definitely not me, but uh, you know, all those guys, man, there's so many. Miles Davis, they're all so many different styles. Dizzy Gillespie, one of my favorite uh, trumpet players of all time is this cat named Woody Shaw. Uh, and he, he, he was around back in the day, and he just, he just plays some ripping stuff, and he's one, of, he's one of my favorites. But there's so many. You know, like you said, Coltrane, all the, all the, he's the best saxophone. There's so, there's so many, you know. It's yeah, good Br stuff, man. Brian, it's great hanging out with you. I'm already getting hate mail from uh, the Easter <laughs> fan and, and Br Bruce Springsteen fans, but I love you so much. Oh, man. Oh, my, thank you so much for having me, man. You know, I, 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 thanks for coming out to the show before, and I, can't, and I hope you come out. Let me know. You, know, you could come down anytime. We're Alyssa here, has to come, too. Alyssa has to come, Alyssa. too. And make sure everybody at home, you got to check out Brian Newman After Dark. I can't recommend it. Uh, higher. It's just the, one of the greatest shows in Vegas at Nomad Las Vegas. Show dates are August 12th through the 14th and August 19th through the 21st. Tickets start at just 49 bucks. You can go to Ticketmaster.com.